What's going on, everyone? It's the Niskel. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Resident Evil Zero. Uh, I have switched around my items, so here we are all ready to go. Billy has the blue leech and some shotgun shells. So now we're going to head to his half of the puzzles. Uh, did I mention I didn't like this part? Probably because of all the leech zombies and actual puzzles in a Resident Evil game. Perish the thought! So anyway, we're going to try to get... Ah, uh, no, he's turning into a leech zombie. Uh, there's a red and green if you really want it here in this door. There goes the blue leech. I'm sorry if I'm not, like, checking all the doors so that people at home can figure this out, but I've played this game so many times, it's kind of in impulse. It's like I run up to a door and I'm, and I'm going, I've got the key, I don't need to check it for the Let's Play. Oh, I do like the music in this room. Here's some handgun bullets I'm going to send to Rebecca later. And there's another specific item in here. But I don't want to get it yet. Mysterious object floating in the water. Ew! I don't want to hear about that. Uh, that little glimmer of light over there. I don't want to get it just yet. For reasons that will show up here in a second. And you are going to wake up. Oh, hi! <laughs> Goodbye! Over here is a green leech. You can go to your previous video by clicking on this one. Actually, I'm actually curious on how many people actually clicked the screen when they saw that. Ooh, a valuable work of art. Let's steal it. Come on, we got to make something off of this entire experience. We can't, like, take this all to the press and go, Oh, Umbrella's bad. Go figure, right? Now, oh, I'm going to get this shiny object now. It is the input regulator coil. Well, what the hell is that for? I'll tell you what the hell that's for. For something later. And it looks like we have a picture. Graduation 1939. Wow. Judging from the age, that guy could be Marcus's son or grandson. Thank you for that cutscene, Billy. That was really, uh... Uh... We really needed that. <laughs> Heaven forbid he might just be that old and uses L'Oreal to make himself look so good. Alright, we have the green leech. Gotta go send that to Rebecca, and we need to hold on to this. Necessary to get the cable car moving again. What cable car? You guys know nothing of a cable car yet. Well, Rebecca does, but Billy doesn't. He probably might stuff that up his nose if he didn't know better. I don't know why I keep considering Billy stupid. I mean, he's not that dumb. I just think... I don't know what I'm thinking. Maybe I just think of all the characters in this game as a little stupid. P call it a personal vendetta? I don't know. Maybe. I just don't think this is the strongest of the Resident Evil games. I love it to death. But it's just... there. First of all, I already have a problem with the fact that they called it Zero and made a prequel after remaking the first game because it wouldn't work on the Nintendo 64 or the 64DD. It, it's just... it's a mess. My feelings toward this game, I love it to death, but I find it really, really stupid. There you go, Rebecca. Something to keep you busy. And now we need to open that door we saw just a bit ago. A bit ago last episode. Back here, now that we've killed all the zombies and their bodies are still twitching. That is what I think is really cool. A nice little detail. When you kill the zombies, they still twitch. It's like they're dead, but not all the way dead. There's a difference between half dead and full dead. I would consider these zombies half dead. Lock has been released. Let's go in. And I actually forget what's in this room. What is in this room? Oh, yeah. That's what's in this room. What is in this room is a uh, crawling guy. And this guy right here, right in front of me, you can, you can shoot him. And he won't bite your foot. 
I, don't, I can't tell you how many times I've fallen for that dude on the floor. But there actually should be a lot of ammo in here. And you also want this shiny over here. A sterilizing agent. I think we saw a gassy room a bit earlier. <gasps> 30 bullets! Praise you, Jesus! Gotta have ammo. I don't know what it is about the the huge gap between normal normal mode and hard mode for this game. It's like easy mode is too easy. I never play easy unless I want to like play through it for fun and not have to deal with dying at all. Normal mode I can get through it about as easy as I can get through easy mode. They just like dock me 30 bullets. Hard mode? Good god. I can't get through a room without using up all my bullets. And healing items. They barely give you anything. Leave you out in the freaking desert. It's... It's mean. If you ever want to play hard mode, you gotta be hardcore, man. You gotta use that knife. You gotta use the technique I showed you earlier to save your ammo. I actually remember playing through... J just as practice for this Let's Play, actually. Playing through hard mode again. I got to the millipede boss. I beat it. I had no ammo. No healing items. Both of my characters were on yellow. All I had was a knife. I uh, stopped playing after that point. Because I didn't think I could do it. I mean, I could probably, like, Rambo it and go get the grenade launcher. But th that's, that's a completely different save file. We're clearing out a gassy room. And there's a shiny in there and a zombie. So I bet you can tell what's going to happen as soon as we walk in this door. Predictability! Plaguing everything horror-related since the year 2000. I don't know. The breeding room key. Oh, I remember this room. This room is mean, too. Let, let's just say this entire section of the game I really don't like. Just, just, uh, control X, get rid of it. I, I don't even know if that's how you cut. I was never good at the shortcuts. But, um, I'm actually gonna go save because... Oh, I'm so unprepared for this section. I will be right back. I'm going to go save real quick. And then I'll tell you what's in this room. All right, we are back. After saving, we are going into the breeding room. Hey, it's a good thing we're Rebecca, right, guys? Eh? Eh? No. Uh, this is another one of those rooms I've been dreading, especially at the, um, at, uh, the condition I'm in. I'm on yellow. I barely have any powerful weapons because around this corner here are two hunters ready to go. I really don't want to do this. So I'm thinking if I just run around, that guy's going to jump. I need what's in here. I don't want to look at the freaking cage. I want this. Oh, the dial. I need to get out of here quick. Come on. No getting hurt. No getting hurt. Oh, why did I stop to pick that up? I will read this later. Forget this. I... Uh, I don't want to read it. No, just skip it. Skip it. Skip it. Skip it. I need to get out of here. Later, guys! Oh, that was probably the best run I've ever had of that room. I have never gotten out of there without getting slashed to death by hunters. Because I always send Rebecca up here, and I'm normally out of cocktails, I only have the handgun. So basically I just sit there and peck away at their life while they kick my ass. So I have to use all my healing items and... Oh, it's just terrible. But we are through that room. We are done with it. We never have to do a hard room like that again. Save for like one more boss. But other than... We'll get to that. I do want to send this dial to Billy though. And uh, just in case you wanted to read this file. It's a report saying on how Progenitor has worked on different animals. Like, uh, it's saying how their molecular structure has changed, how their cells have changed, making them more violent. And it's kind of fascinating. He calls it a breakthrough. I call it really kind of boring. Because he's telling you, like, like this is the explanation of, of the zombie monkeys. This is the, uh, it, this is how they explain the leeches. They're telling you what happened, but you don't really care because you're killing these. Now, if you were trying to save these zombie monkeys and leeches as, like, pets, then more power to you. Here's an interesting one. 
The frog. More leaping power and tongue growth. We're going to be fighting giant frogs later. Now, I don't know what a hunter is. I think it's a frog. Don't quote me on that. But we are going to be fighting giant frogs. Amazing. And because of what you have read here, that means you either kill them or be killed. They're one of those lovely insta-kill enemies. Ah, oh, that I love so much. Hope I never have to run into one. Or at least if I do, I send a grenade in its face. Alright, now that we have a chance to read that, let's send this dial to Billy. So we can go open a specific door. What's the combination? Go look back through your files. I'm sure you'll find something. <coughs> Leeches. It's the only hint I'm giving you. Chances are, like, I have the code written down somewhere, but I don't have it in front of me, so I have a strange feeling I'm going to get this wrong. It was, like, what, one video ago that I gave away the hints? And I'm not going to go back and read it, because I am a man. Men don't read. Gamers don't read. Let's go solve that puzzle. And let's see what's inside. The special dial room. Dial room. And incoming big epic leech music. Ah! Alright, moving past. I really want to get these for Rebecca. Because I know what's behind this room. Behind this room. Yes, I'm going behind the entire room. Crap! I can't get it! Ah, oh, forget it then. Just come around here, and here's where you need to use the dial. Well, I guess I had better check it first. Device for entering a combination, but it's missing a part. How about that dial? Don't touch that dial! We're ready to solve this puzzle. So, it needs four digits. Where have you seen four digits? Let's see, he first started out with... Four leeches. And then they doubled. But then he lost two. And then he lost two, uh... What?! Oh no! Oh shit! I know what the combination is! Oh no! Get off, get off! I know what the combination is, you don't have to bite me. I know, I know! Well, now I need this, so... Oh wait, I can pick it up now because the dial's gone. Sweet. So, oh no. Oh, this... I made it through the breeding room, but I couldn't make it past a simple leech zombie. Get the hell off me. I need to solve this simple puzzle. I can't believe I called it simple and I got the combination wrong. It's four. <sighs> Eight. Because they doubled. But then they got hungry and ate two. And then they lost half. There we go. That's the part I was missing. So through that door. Get away from this leech zombie. Such a nuisance. Maybe I could use this. Rebecca here. Over. Billy, I found something here that might make you happy. It's an aerial cable car. Really? That's great. Now we can get out. Yep, let's regroup as soon as possible. Over. Roger. Hey, Rebecca, I found a cable car. <laughs> That's all I can hear. <laughs> you can barely hear the static. Anyway. Pull this lever. And now we can get our partner back. Amazing. Let's get out of this section. This section sucks. It's so terrible. And there's a shiny over there. I want that shiny, but I can't pick it up. Crap. So let's go up here. Let's regroup, uh, regroup with Rebecca and switch around our items just to get everything ready. Actually, we need the hook shot one more time. So let's get Rebecca over here and switch around some items. She looks so bored there. <sighs> when will Billy call me over with his psychic waves? Oh, there we go. 
Sorry, zombies. Have to ignore you. I don't want to fight. I'm a lover, not a fighter. Epic zombie video! Okay. Alright. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to have to use. I might have to ditch some healing items. Oh, no. Uh, uh, let me just mix here and see what we got. Uh, give the bullets there. Combine those. Okay. Uh, I can work with this. Alright, so I need this. Gotta have the hookshot for one last time, I know. It, it's, an, it's annoying, because you have such a limited amount of inventory space, and then you have one specific item where you only need to use... You only use it in specific areas of the game, never to use it again, but when you have to have... Like, limited ammo and everything, it just gets... It gets on some people's nerves. And I think I'm gonna have Billy do this. So, Billy, you've got the hookshot. You have the power. This Go way. save the Triforce! Uh, down this ladder here. And we're gonna go pick up that shiny. Because, see, now Billy knows that input regulator coil. He's thinking, I think this might be for a monorail. It's for a monorail! Rebecca, I found the monorail! And we have the input and the output. In and out. Giggity goo. Over here in the corner, a giant <laughs> hole in the ceiling. So what do we do? Hookshot time! Come up here and we enter the water temple. Now this is a temple that people normally get stuck on. And I wish I was playing Zelda. Nah, I'm kidding, I love this game. Use that. In the obviously shaped slots here. One more. And then I need to go get those shotgun shells, because those look amazing. I will take those. Power up! Shotgun shells, please. And I think I might end it off here. Because I remember what's coming up, and I want to save that for later. So we'll unlock this door, we'll open it up for later, if we ever have to come back into this room. <laughs> I couldn't imagine why we would need to. So, next time on Resident Evil Zero, we are going to go on the monorail and go further into a place that isn't a mansion. Thank God. And you know it seems that Resident Evil kind of goes in a pattern. You start in a place that is or is not a mansion, and then you enter a laboratory. Hmm, I'm sensing a theme here. Oh well. We have saved. We are ready for the next trial ahead of us. See you next time, guys.